Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome back to another lesson from My Islam Book 1 by LMA with MLX Plus. Our lesson for today is Qul huwa Allahu ahad. Say he is Allah, the one and only. Say it with me. Qul huwa Allahu ahad. Say he is Allah, the one and only. Before we get into today's lesson, let's talk about who is Allah. Allah Ta'ala is our creator. He created the whole world and everything in it. What does this mean? This means that Allah Ta'ala made us and everything inside the world. So the trees, the plants, the animals, whatever you can think of that's inside the world, that is what Allah Ta'ala made. Umu Naeem, Asma and Ahmad are going to tell us what Qulwa Allahu Ahad really means. Umu Naeem took Asma and Ahmad for a walk in the park. They were very excited to tell their granny what they had learned in Madrasa. Ahmad said, we learned that Allah Ta'ala is one and we learned that Allah Ta'ala is alone. Allah Ta'ala is one and Allah Ta'ala is alone. What does this mean? This means that we only worship and pray to one Allah Ta'ala. There is not two, three, four or many other Allah Ta'alas. There is only one Allah Ta'ala. And Allah Ta'ala is alone means that he is alone in having and controlling the entire world. Nothing in the world happens without the permission of Allah Ta'ala. Now I'm going to tell you a story of the, of the king and Ibrahim alayhi salam. The king called Ibrahim salam one day and said, I am God and you should worship me. So Nabi Ibrahim salam said, no, I worship Allah Ta'ala alone. So the king asked Nabi Ibrahim salam, who is this Allah Ta'ala that you are always talking about and what can he do that I can't do? So Nabi Ibrahim salam told the king, my Allah gives life and causes death. So the king called somebody from jail and set him free. And then he called another person and he killed him. Then the king said, there I gave life and I caused death. I am your God. Nabi Ibrahim salam said, no, my Allah Ta'ala can make the sun rise from the east. Can you make it rise from the west? After hearing this question, the king was shocked. He didn't know what to say because he knew that he couldn't do it. Only Allah Ta'ala can do something like that. Before we end, let's do a quick recap on what we learned today. We learned who is Allah. Allah Ta'ala is the creator of the entire world and everything in it. We also learned that Allah Ta'ala is one. We worship and pray to one Allah Ta'ala. And we learned that Allah Ta'ala is alone, which means he is alone in controlling the entire world. Nothing happens without the permission of Allah Ta'ala. That's our lesson for today. Insha'Allah, we will continue in the next episode. Wa alaykum as wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. The book that I'm using to teach these lessons is called My Islam, Book 1, prepared by LMA. To order it, visit www.lma.org.za.